Hey guys, this is Zach with Dream DD Home Theater. Today we're gonna to be mounting a LG TV over a fireplace into a masonry surface, and I just wanted to show you how this is completed. This is the situation that we're working with. This is an older 70s home here in Plano, Texas, and you can see there's no wiring in place and there is no support other than the stone. So what we're gonna be doing is using the Tilt 3780 here, which is just a standard tilt mount, single rail. We're going to get the mount bolted to the back of the TV and then we're going to bolt the bracket to the wall and get it hung up there as well as hook up their sound bar down below. So we're going to be using the Tapcon concrete acres. These go in and kind of spread super tight, reliable anchors and you can purchase these at Home Depot. Here's the tilt mount. You can see it's just very basic hangs on there like a pitcher this is one that you see us using all the time and then here's the rail and that just hangs on there like that i'll show you the process as we complete the work all right so we're going to be taking our bracket and you can see right here is where the bracket lines up top of the tv is going to be here um, and this is the center of the wall. So I'm gonna go ahead and mark out where we need to drill. Now it's important whenever you're going into a masonry surface that um, you do go into the brick itself and not the mortar, because the mortar's soft and it won't hold. So I'm actually gonna have to go up a little bit higher, about a half an inch higher than originally expected, um, just because of the position of the mortar. take our driver, put a little washer on the, the tap con, and we'll get it screwed right in to the bracket. You can see because this is a softer surface and we always like to overdo things, we're putting in six anchors. In a lot of situations, that's not completely necessary, but you'll just have to use your best judgment. part of the process is that you're going to take your lock rod and slide it between the rail that's on the back of the TV and the bracket that's on the TV and make sure that the television can't be knocked off. Looks like Grayson's struggling a little bit right now just because of how tight the, the angle is right there with the bookshelf being set out. But you do want to get that rod in there because if not you can push right up and then the TV can pop right off the wall. And make sure the TV is level. All right, so this uh, brick is, this is a very old home and the brick is all uneven. So we just consulted with the customer to find out what they prefer on spacing because this side isn't equal to this side. Um, and each brick is a little bit different. So we kind of just split the difference and went with what is most aesthetically pleasing. The next thing that we're going to do is we are going to mount the sound bar and we're gonna flush mount that right up underneath the TV here. Now, uh, if you guys are wondering what we're gonna do about wire concealment, in this particular situation, uh, this is a true wood burning fireplace, meaning there's no dead space behind here, so you can't run the wiring up and around or out the back side because it would ruin the integrity of the fireplace. So what we talked to the customer about doing is hiring a mason to either remove the mortar and shoot it up into here, or just do a little channel to shoot it into the trim. We're gonna rip the trim off, or the handyman is, but we're not gonna do that. Um, and then put the wiring inside of the trim so that you don't see it. But we'll go ahead and get this sound bar up on the wall. 